Mac, Mac, <laughs> Mac, Mac. Wait, what? Huh? You, you're not Mac. I ain't no Mac. I'm a Peterfield for dang sake. Ugh, are, who is even this Mac? Uh, well, he's my McQueen, huh? Dude, thank the stars you're alive. Wait, who is this bozo? Um, uh. I, I I don't know. He just came up to me and thought I was a Mac, and now I'm a Peterbilt. McQueen, how can you be that blind? Uh, what? All right, Peterbilt, come over here and let's see how McQueen thought I was you. Uh, okay. All right, McQueen. So the first thing you need to know is that he's skinny and I'm thick. Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. But anyways, I have your logo here. He has some, like, rusty batteries. Hey, they aren't rusty. Well, he was stealing my groove with, like, the lightning bolt and everything. I, 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 I didn't know. McQueen, I was so scared. I, I, I was so worried. Mac, Mac, no, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm the dumb one here. No. Wait, what? Yes, you are, all right? That's it. I quit. I can't believe you thought I was him. Come on. You, yeah, I, I don't want to, I don't want to work for you anymore. I'm sorry. Wait, Mac, we have Pissy Cup to win. Ah, uh, you see what you did? I didn't do anything. I just know I'm a Peterbilt. <sighs> what am I gonna do now? Hey guys, what is up? It's Little Herky here, and today I am going to be reviewing quote unquote Max Doppelganger Jerry Recycled Batteries. Jerry appeared in Cars 1 when McQueen was lost on the highway after getting out of Max trailer unintentionally. If you think about it, Jerry is another factor in getting McQueen into Radiator Springs because of the fact that he got off the highway, which unintentionally got McQueen into Radiator Springs because he was so confused and lost about where he was after the fact that he realized Jerry wasn't Mac. Unfortunately, although Jerry had a major factor in moving the plot forward, his die cast has never received that much love. The only two times that his holler was released was back in the Racerama series and the Final Lab collection, so it's been a while. Although a little while back, Jerry himself, not including the holler, got a deluxe release in the Radiator Springs Classics line, so I guess there's some hope for Jerry. But anyways, enough said, let's get on to comparing these two. So as you can see, Jerry and Mac are very, very similar in design. First of all, the right side has a bolt right here, as you can see from McQueen. They also have like their icon of their, you know, brand, which is for McQueen and for Mac, it's McQueen. And for Jerry, it's his recycled batteries. And over here, you find the sponsor right here, which is Recycled Batteries. On the back of the haulers, you can see that it's actually a very similar resemblance to McQueen's hauler because of the fact that there is the little icon of the brand, and then there's a lightning bolt, the same thing with McQueen. Over here, again, on the side, um, there's, Jer there's Jerry's um, Recycled Battery right here. Then there's like this little recycling logo, and then Recycled Batteries, and then the lightning bolt. And then again, it says Recycled Batteries right here on the bottom. And then same thing I guess from McQueen, lightning bolt from the right, their, I guess, brand I guess, which, you know, McQueen, it's not really the brand, McQueen isn't the brand, but it's just, an, it's just a text there I guess, there's some text on the, on the side of the bolt, then the icon, and then the logo of that, uh, of the brand. The front doesn't really match up, but even then McQueen couldn't see the, the, um, the front of the hauler, because of the fact that Jerry was hauling the hauler. But as you can see, these are some of the reasons why McQueen did get a bit confused um, when he was trying to find Mac. Like he, like he thought that this um, Jerry Recycled Batteries was actually Mac. Because remember, it was at night and, you know, he couldn't see that well. So it's understandable that, he, that you know, because of design choices, both Mac and Jerry seem similar, at least at night. So I guess I'll go over Jerry by himself. So as you can see, he is way more of a skinnier model than Mac, definitely. And actually, this skinnier model does help with mobility of turning around with the hauler right here. As you can see, he does not have silver rims. He has gray rims and then black tires, obviously. He does not have mud flaps, but here is his license plate number. Here we go, finally got it, and it's something like 7BL20A, and then he lives in... I can't really see that that well. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys read. He has a very movie accurate expression, which is very, very nice when you're trying to recreate the scene with McQueen coming up to him and like, Mac, Mac, are you Mac? And you know, trying to recreate that scene, that's pretty nice. Um, as you can see, he does have a little, like, stubble. I don't even know how this this works. I have this stubble, like, from, like, a, you know, a beard, 
which is what it's trying to emulate. But I'm pretty sure it's just like you know dirt and stuff. I just got around around the the front bumper of the of the of the cab. Right here, he has a very weird grill. I've never seen anyone with this grill before. It's really cool, though. It's honestly a really nice, um, what's it called? A really nice variation of the grills. Right here, Max is way different than his. And let's see what it says on the top around his nose. Or, like, that's not his nose. And it says, he's a Peterbilt. Peterbilt. Over here, you can see two headlights right here. I, don't, I actually do not know what these are. And I don't know that these aren't headlights, because these are his headlights. And then these are, these little things are his blinkers. But I have no idea what those are right there next to him. But yeah, he has blue eyes. Um, really, really nice. And then he has these side view windows, or not windows, mirrors. Right here. He has a little door for, let's say, if a human wants to get inside him. But that one obviously works since he is in the Cars universe and humans apparently don't exist. But there, there are his doors right here and on the other side right there. Really detailed, actually. The back here, here is smokestacks, which look very detailed. And they actually kind of look more, uh, more or less dirty than Max, at least. Let me just check. Yeah, it looks dirtier. So that's what I like about these, you know, these non-piston cup haulers. Like, you know, him, and then there's also Gil, Ben Crankleshaft, stuff like them. They look, they have, like, more dirtier look. Because, you know, they aren't professional. They're just, you know cars that are hauling out they're hauling luggage but anyways as you can see he does have the hauler actually has um gray rims to emulate the dirt as well the i believe the what's it called the license plate over here is the same yep 7bl28 really nice and then i really like these like you know little recycled batteries it looks so cute look at them like look it looks so nice <laughs> and it looks so goofy at times too Really nice, really nice. Like, you know, really goofy looking, uh, look, looking brand for like a very serious car. Like, look at this. Anyways, as you can see, this hall does not open like Mac. Let me show you how Mac opens. Alright, so let me take McQueen, just as an example, right here. Mac, let me just get the camera down a bit. Mac opens like this. So, you have the hauler here. Alright. If I can put it on. There we go. Alright. Oh, whoops, sorry, Nicole team. Sorry. And then... Mac opens like this. You open it from the back, and then boom, pops out. The little, little lift right there, and then the queen can go inside safely, like that. And then you know the hall closes up and everything. But for uh, Jerry, it's very different. Look at this. So Jerry does not open like the like any ordinary hauler. He opens from the front rather than the, the back. Although there's one problem with this though. He does not have a lift which means that the car is trying to get in will, be, will have a tough time trying to get in. Like, you know, McQueen probably has to like jump or something like that. Like look, like like that. <laughs> I know, it's kind of dramatized but it's just it's kind of like a, something that would that would work. And then the hull is actually kind of like, you know, bent down a bit because, you know, McQueen's heavy. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the hauler. I mean, no, not, I mean for the inside, I guess. Let me just check the inside first. As you can see, the hauler is loaded with like a bunch of recycled batteries, as you can see, if the camera can focus. <laughs> but you can see that there's like a bunch of recycled batteries, as well as on the back right here. You can't really see them that well. Let me just try and turn on my flash, maybe, and that might work. There you go, as you can see, there's some, there's some uh, recycled batteries in there. Just pretty neato. And then, you know, open and close right here. And actually, it looks different on, on the bottom, too. Look at this. It looks so cool, right? Pretty, pretty nice. I'd say that Jerry is a very nice add to your collection of haulers. He is definitely a very iconic car from the movie. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I guess, you know, follow me on my Instagram page, at officialittleharky. But anyways, guys, that is going to be all for me. This is Little Harky saying peace.